Hello and welcome to Technofied. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use Zoom on your laptop or PC. So let's go ahead and start the video. Go ahead and open any type of browser you have on your PC and search for Zoom download and click on the first link which appears on your screen. After a while, this page will load up. Go ahead and click on download. Go ahead and install the Zoom app on your PC and you can search for Zoom and open Zoom on your PC. You can see that this type of interface will open up and you can see some of the updates will also appear. Go ahead and install the updates which Zoom provides as well. Talking about Zoom, Zoom is a video conference app where you can use Zoom to arrange some meetings for your workspace, for your studies, for your business activities and whatnot. So you can go ahead and install Zoom today. So you can see join a meeting, sign up and sign in as soon as you install the Zoom workspace. If you want to quickly join a meeting, just go ahead and click on join a meeting. Write down the meeting ID or personal link name. Write down your name and click on remember my name for future meetings. And if you want to disconnect your audio and turn off your video, you can do this as well and click join. This way you can easily join a meeting. If you don't want to join your meeting and want to sign in to Zoom, you can do that as well. Or else if you don't have your account for Zoom and want to sign up, you can do that as well. So let me teach you how you can sign up. Just go ahead and click on sign up, which is over here. So after click sign up, what you need to do is write down your birth year and click continue. Then you can see that you can write down your email address or sign up using your SSO number which is your social security number, your Apple ID, your Google account and your Facebook account. So you can sign up using all of these. Let me go ahead and teach you an example by signing in with Google. I'll just go ahead and select Google and select one of my Gmail accounts. After that, I'll click continue to sign in to June. After that, you can see that I must agree to the terms and policies. I'll just go ahead and click on for educators. I'll click on 6 to 17 and click on create account. After I click create account in Zoom, my account will be created. Just go ahead and click on continue. Now, what you need to do is write down your organization name. So you can go ahead and write this down and click continue. And you can see that you will be signed in. So let's go ahead and write down our organization name. And other things which comes with it like the street address, the zip postal code, the country of your residence, the state which you live in, and the organization homepage website if there is one. So you can see your role on the organization is over here. Just go ahead and click on other or anything you want. Click on go to my account and you can see launch Zoom. You can click on this, click open, wait for a while. And in a while, your Zoom account will be ready and you can start using it. So talking about the interface, if you want to create a new interface in Zoom or a new meeting on Zoom, you can click on new meeting, which is over here. As soon as you click on new meeting, you can see that your meeting will be started. You can see join with computer audio. You can go ahead and click on it and you can see that the audio has been enabled and you have now started the meeting. Now, wondering if you want to share or how you can share this meeting link, you can see the more option over here. Just go ahead and tap on it, click on share, and you can see share option. You can now start sharing your screen to others and you can send them your Zoom link. So you can see the audio option if you want to mute it, you can just go ahead and tap on it and mute it. And you can see some of the options which you can select. So you can select your microphone, if you are using your mic, you can select mic and you can see the speaker options. There are some speaker options like headphone speakers. You can test as well and you can leave the computer audio as well. And talking about video, you can enable your video, blur your background, choose your virtual background, choose a video filter and choose avatar as well. So if you want to quit it, just go ahead and click on N which is here as well. So you can see on the more options as you start the video call, there are options like share. You can see the share screen properties. You can choose what options you want to share and you can see the participants option over here. If you want to invite some participants, you can see invite option. You can see copy invite link if you just copy it and go back to the page. You can paste this copy link over here and as a person clicks on it, they can now join your Zoom link. 
So you can see that now you have joined the Zoom link. And if you want to end it, you can do it as well. So you can see the end option over here on the right hand side. As soon as you start the meeting and you are done with your meeting and want to quit it, you can see the end option. You can see end meeting for all. If you are the admin of the Zoom meeting, you can click end for all and the meeting will be end. But if you want to leave the meeting and want others to continue on your their meeting, you can click on leave meeting and only you will leave the meeting. So if you want to join the meeting, you can see the join option on the top right hand side, which is over here. Click on it. Now, what you need to do after this is write down your meeting or personal link name. You can see all of these do meeting links. If you have a new meeting link or someone has sent you, them your meeting link, you can just go ahead and paste the meeting link here. You can change your name and there are two options like don't connect my audio and turn off my video. This will be on default. So go ahead and do this if you want and click join and you can join your Zoom meeting. So if you want to schedule a meeting, you can do that as well. You can see this schedule option. You can see the topic, date and time. You can select the date and time over here. The meeting start date is here. Start time is here. The end time is here and the end date is here as well where so you can see the time zone you can select your time zone and if you want this meeting to be a recurring meeting just go ahead and click on this and you can see every day until this date over here so you can see you can select the reoccurrence the repeat day every day the end date and if you want to individually invite the attendees you can write down their name or email Go ahead and invite them and you can start the meeting and schedule it. So if you scroll a bit down, there are options of video, audio and calendar. You can select these and you can start the meeting. If you go to advanced options, you can see some of the options like allow participants to join every time. You can click this because this will quite easily help your meeting and some joining interviewees. So you can enable it. But if your company has a strict policy, and you can only invite some people you can just just go ahead and skip this or disallow it and you can see mute participants upon entry you can enable it some of the things other are automatically record meeting on the local computer if you want your recording to be recorded usually just go ahead and enable it and you can see approve or block entry from users from specific countries and reasons if you want to do this you can enable it and you can specify the countries which you want to block. So this is it for schedule. Down sharing key or meeting ID and go ahead and click share screen on the meeting ID. Talking about the functionalities, all of these are done. Now you can see the meetings option over here. All of your meetings to which you are added to will appear over here and you can join the meetings. Talking about team chat, the team chat section is over here. Some of the folders created in team chat are mentioned miss calls, draft and send, more. And some of the messages chat are stared, chats, channel and app. So all of your messages, calls, miss calls will appear over here. Whiteboards are also very important in Zoom workspace because this is used by teachers to teach students. So you can see some of the very popular templates over here. You can use these templates to describe to your students about the education details so you can see all whiteboards if you want to share a new whiteboard just go ahead and click on new whiteboard over here now you can start a whiteboard and you can start teaching your students so you can use any of the use templates over here so let's suppose i want to go to design and research and want to teach market strategy i'll just go ahead and click use template after i go to market strategy and you can see that this is a whiteboard now if you want to share it you can see share option go ahead and write down the contact or channel or email go ahead and copy the link or send this link and they can also view your screen so you can see the comment meet now all eyes on me and your profile over here there are also other options of with this drawing options so you can use the pen select it you can use some of the shapes the lines the text for which you can use for teaching the sticky notes if you want to add one, comments, framed, templates, upload, emojis and stickers and whatnot. So you can use this whiteboard option to explain your students about your education and school details. 
So there are some clips option over here as well if you want to play some of the clips which is here defaultly on zoom you can do that as well and you can upload your own clips as well so you can see this option and if you go to more there are options like calendar mail apps and contacts so guys this is pretty much it about the functionalities of zoom and how you can attend connect join and schedule a meeting now talking about your profile and calendar it's on the right hand side of your screen if you want any type of help from the zoom team you can see the question mark icon just go ahead and click on report problem help center and give feedback to talk with the customer service portal of zoom talking about notifications all of the type of notifications will open here on the open activity center which is this notification bell icon right beside it is the calendar side you can see that the calendar side is over here all of the schedules you have on your account will appear over here and you can easily join meetings from here now talking about your profile you can easily find your profile over here on the right hand side go ahead and tap on your profile and as soon as you tap on your profile you can see the availability option if you want yourself to be so busy do not disturb away or out of office you can do this by clicking on this function over here so if you want nobody to disturb you you can just go ahead and click on it and there is a set of time and you can also see the add account option over here so let's go ahead and click set status message so if you want to set a status message and want people to see this you can just go ahead and write a status message and you can see the clear after options there are some time like one hour four hours today this week never and set date and time so you can select this and click save and you can set a message as well so other options are work location if you are working remotely or an office you can do this and you can see forward calls if people try to tend to call you and you don't pick up you can see if you turn on the forward call other people can pick on your behalf and they can talk it so you can see these options over here and if you go to settings you can see the further options like video audio share screen team chat zoom apps background and effects recording profile statistics keyboard shortcuts accessibility so if you want to change some of the default settings provided by zoom you probably should go here under settings which is over here and if you want to add an account you can just go ahead and tap on add now you can sign in using your email address, your SSO, Apple, Google or Facebook account quite easily. So guys, this is how easy it is to use Zoom on your PC. I hope this video about how you can use Zoom was helpful. If you still have any kind of confusion, please do mention this on the comment section down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and do hit the bell button for more. Hope to see you in the next video as well. Until then, goodbye, take care and make sure you enjoy.